Hello! I'm sitting here working. I have added reverb, but the reverb made parts of the vocals too muddy to hear the words in some parts. And that's not good. Uh, don't like. And here are the vocals without any effects. It sounds like this. I saw you turn against the wall I don't know the reason why The problem with adding a reverb directly to the vocals is that if there are parts with higher volumes like here and there and there yeah you can you can see them followed by lower parts the reverberation from the higher parts will continue in high volume over the lower parts of the vocals, making them sound muddy. The lower parts that comes after the high ones, like here, and there, and there, and there, you can see them too. So, therefore, I'm going to add a reverb that ducks over the higher parts, but is still at its folly in the lower parts. And in this video I'm going to show you my way of doing this, even if this knowledge isn't something new. So, first, I will add a new channel and call it the same as the vocal channel, ending with reverb. And my vocal channel's name is Vox, so I will scroll down and double click the grey area, and there you have the new channel, and I will call this, like I said, Vox followed by reverb there it is it's kind of neat beautiful and this new channel vox reverb will add the reverb to the vocals will do all the reverberation and well, it's a fly and now i'm going to add one more channel which is going to be the bus for the vox and the vox reverb these two this bus is the one that is going to pass the mixed vox signals out to the master out to my speakers in the end. Let's add the new channel, double click, and we will call this vox followed by bus. I will left click on the volume knob to the vox channel here so that the routing window will appear. And because we now have the Vox bus here, which is going to send the mixed Vox signals out to the speakers through the master out, we will not need this Vox channel to send out to the master too. So I will remove that function here, the send function. So, and I will add the send from here to the Vox bus. The Vox bus is here. Click it, click, and I will leave it uh, like it is. Now I will also add a send from here to the Vox reverb channel. Add and Vox reverb. Click. Mm. But on this one, I will change the post fader to a pre FX because we want the dynamic range from the original vocal sound that was recorded. And this will help the ducking on the higher parts and leave the softer parts out when we will set the compressor's threshold later. And now I will uh, remove the master send on the Vox Reverb channel 2. Because it's still going to be the Vox bus that is going to send the signal to the speakers on the master out. But to make that possible, we will have to add a send from here to the Vox bus. Add new send and choose Vox bus. And this is going to be left like it is. And I will leave the post fader like it is because we want this channel's effect chain to be processed first before it is sent to the Vox bus. So now, I have no sound out from the Vox channel through the master out, master send, to my speakers. And 
I'm also sending the raw recorded vocals unprocessed to the Vox Reverb channel. While I'm also sending a processed signal from the Vox channel to the Vox bus. And the Vox bus is going to send the mixed signals to my speakers. And now it's time to add some compression. Compress! So I will add a compressor in the Vox channel's plugin chain. I will press the FX. So, so, so. I will use the M compressor. Yes, as you can see, I haven't paid for it yet, but I will because I really like this compressor. The signal on this channel, after it has been processed by the compressor, will be sent to the Vox bus to be mixed with the Vox reverb channel, and then sent to the speakers on master out, master send. So now let's set the compressor. I will change the knee mode to soft and start the loop so I can hear the sound. I saw you turn against and I will lower the threshold. I don't know the reason why I can't read your mind to say I saw you turn against the wall I Something like that will do it for this example. And I will increase the attack I saw you turn against the wall I don't know the reason why To something around 50 milliseconds will do it And I will increase the release To something around 100 milliseconds will do it just fine for this example And I will change the knee size to make it a bit harder against the wall I don't know the reason that will do it why and I will increase the ratio to, to push it down a little bit harder the wall. I don't know the reason why I can't read your mind to say that will do just fine and if I push this button I will see I don't what know is actually why going on. I can't read your mind to say. I saw you it's pushing down the, the volume wall. and releasing. I don't know the reason. So, like I said, this will do just fine for this example. Now I have added a compressor to the Vox channel. And before I add a reverb, I will unmute the Vox reverb channel and lower the volume a bit. Something like that might be good. And now I will add a reverb. And I will use the M sham verb. And I haven't paid for this either. Still it is free though. And I will start by turning this knob to 100% wet sound because the dry sound will be coming from the Vox channel. And now I will tune in the reverb to something that will be good enough to be able to hear the point of this little tutorial. Let's play the loop. I saw you turn against the wall I don't know the reason why I saw you turn against the wall I don't know the reason why That will be good enough. I will lower the sound from uh, the Vox Reverb channel all the way and start the loop again. Now I will increase the sound from the Vox Reverb channel until I'm satisfied. I saw you turn against the wall I don't know the reason Well, I will increase the volume on the Vox bus too. turn against the wall I don't know the reason why I saw you turn against the wall I don't know the reason why I saw you turn... As you could hear, 
The reverb is fully active in the high volume regions, too, on the vocals, and is also overpowering the lower parts that follows this part, making it muddy and will make it harder to hear in the complete mix. So if I play the first high part, this one, and immediately stop, then you can hear the reverb that follows. Let's take a listen. I saw... I'll do it again. I saw... You hear it? I saw... This is what my next step will address, making the higher parts less reverberated, but still keeping the reverb untouched on the lower parts. And to fix this, I will open the Vox Reverb Channels plugin chain and add a compressor. And I will choose the M compressor again. And I will move the compressor so that it is first in the plugin chain. Because I don't want the compressor to accidentally process the reverb in any ways. Now I will change the threshold to a point where the harder part of the vocals hits above the threshold line this line and the lower parts stays before in this area so that the lower parts will be left unprocessed by the compressor and to do this I will start the loop I saw you turn against the wall I don't know the reason why I saw you turn against the wall I don't know the reason why I saw you turn against the wall I don't know the re- That is kind of perfect, I believe. And Max Ratio to really push the higher parts down. And uh, the fastest attack, so that the action will be taken as fast as possible to the sound going over the threshold. And a decent release, around 50 milliseconds will do just fine. So I will leave it. So, what this will do is that the compressor will push down the volume in the higher parts so that the reverb from these parts also will have a lower volume when they are sustained over the lower parts that comes after. And the lower parts will still be untouched and fully reverberated. This will make it more clear while the vocals talks and fool the ears that it is still fully reverberated, when the ending parts will still have the reverb fully attached to it. Now I will play one of the higher regions again and immediately stop. I don't... I... 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 And then deactivate the compressor. I... 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 I and if you are listening on the lower part that comes after and do the same there's no difference and we can also see what difference the compressor makes on the reverb by looking at the charm verb window with the compressor I'm, I'm I, I, it's down here. Without, I, I, it's up here. I, I, and I will mix this into the song.
can't we 